Hey everyone, thank you so much for pressing play. Um, so today's video is going to be a little different. I am just recording this right now to explain why I have two videos in one. So first I was going to do both videos separate. First post the one day, which I call my tough day. And then the second day, which was after the miscarriage happened. If you've seen the video that I posted last week on me sharing that we unfortunately were in the middle of having a missed miscarriage and what that means is the baby unfortunately passed away and we were waiting for my body to miscarry and so I wanted to share two different aspects because it's so easy for me to share after I'm healed up and I just feel so much better and God has given me peace and understanding it's easy for me to share that but I also recorded on a day when we were still waiting for the miscarriage to happen so the first video you see how discouraged I am and how much I'm just praying for strength and I'm just trying to keep my mind on um, things that are praiseworthy like it says in Philippians 4 and trying to meditate on those things because I wasn't feeling happy or joyful and so you'll see that and I think um, the reason why I want to add both videos in one is because I think it's just so beautiful to see and powerful to see just how God really does just give us strength and give us understanding because in the one video I'm praying so much for strength and I was so weak and I want us to show that because sometimes we see a Christian and we're like wow they're just so strong or they're never discouraged or they're never sad but I wanted people to just see that as believers we do get discouraged and it's not me who's strong it's God who gives me the strength in my weakness he is my strength and so I pray that these videos bless you so today I wanted to film because this is one of my tough days and I'm going through the motions of just getting a little frustrated waiting for the miscarriage to happen. Um, naturally, it's hard because I never know when it's going to happen. It's easier for me to film when I feel better. And I thought, you know what? It's honest. And I know other women who may be going through this are feeling the same thing that I'm feeling right now. There's Banks walking around. Are going through the same thing that I'm feeling right now and so I say you know what let me just record how I'm feeling and how do I feel you know, I trust in God's timing but I just want this season to be done like I said in the last video I'm still praying for God to you know help me learn throughout this process um, what he wants me to learn but today's just one of those hard days where you're almost just like, oh, God, please help me, you know, like give me strength. And so that's what today, that's my prayer. Like, just give me strength and I just feel sad. I've been thinking a lot about the actual miscarriage because I know that once the actual miscarriage comes, I'm going to be filled with so many different emotions because physically I'm going through, you know, a whole bunch of different hormones are going to be changing in me. You know, and then emotionally, you know, I'm going to be miscarrying my child. So, you know, I'm just praying right now for the strength through that time. And I'm just remembering scripture, you know, like, like it says in Philippians 4. Like, think on things that are, you know, praiseworthy. I know we can do all things through Christ, you know, who strengthens us. And so just trying to stay grounded in the word is so important right now. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I pray that these videos that I'm going to be recording bless someone. Bye. So today I wanted to share that we finally had the miscarriage. So when I was 11, like a little over 11 weeks, which was three weeks from the time that we found out that the baby had passed away and that there was no heartbeat, um, my body finally miscarried. So what happened was um, I was talking to one of the sisters from my church who went through a similar situation. And she shared with me, she said, when the same thing happened to me, I, I started drinking red raspberry tea leaf three times a day. What red raspberry tea leaf does 
Um, I don't know all the science behind it, so you will have to research it, but I know that it helps with the uterus, getting the uterus working. So I was like, you know what, let me try it, you know? And I was just praying and I was just like, Lord, you know, maybe this could help actually, you know, get my body started, right? I didn't really know that it was gonna happen, but it really did happen. Literally like two hours after I drank the raspberry tea leaf and I made it extremely strong. I put three um, tea bags. Um, the tea that I used, it's an organic raspberry tea leaf. I got it from Target, I believe. After I drank that cup, I started to get cramps. And that was the first time that I got cramps. And so I was just like, wow, I don't know, like my body's starting to cramp up. And then so that was on a Wednesday like Wednesday evening and then on Thursday I said you know what let me make another strong cup I made the strong cup and that's it like I did the same thing three tea bags and that's it my body was just cramping up so bad I started bleeding so that was on a Thursday I started bleeding and having really 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 bad cramps from Thursday to Friday to Saturday then they started to slow down a little bit and then on Sunday um the sack that was holding the baby it came out you know we saw it come out um i was just in awe you know it was sad but at the same time i thought that when we were gonna go through the miscarriage that it was you know seeing everything happen that emotionally i was gonna be just distraught and honestly i wasn't and I give all the praise and glory to God because those were all answered prayers. We had so many people praying for us, our church, our friends, our family. And I saw those prayers. Like I emotionally, I was able to handle it. So it's interesting how, even though I was super frustrated waiting for the process to happen and just praying to God, like God, oh, please let it happen now. Why isn't it happening? I see like wow he does all things for our good remember that scripture that kept coming up that I shared he does all things for our good and I know that I needed it to happen the way it happened I was able to handle the emotional part when we found out that the baby's heartbeat stopped we were able to go through that um, you know grieve and cry and let out all those emotions and then we were able to handle the painful part because when I was going through the pain the physical pain and the cramping and all of that um, you know my husband was right by my side and we were able to just you know pray through it and ask God for strength and able to handle that and emotionally I wasn't distraught the way that I thought and honestly when I saw the baby's the sack come out um i was almost in awe i know this sounds weird unless you've been through it then you know what i'm talking about but i was in awe because i was just like wow lord you made that like you know you really form the child in our womb and I, you know it just made me hopeful that if my body was able to even make that that you know lord willing in the future my body can end up you know making a full-term baby you know a healthy baby that's my prayer and so Lord willing when it's his timing um, I'm praying that that will happen and I'm just so joyful and hopeful and just grateful and that was something that I mentioned in the first video is that I'm really really grateful this situation has made me grateful for things that you know sometimes we pray so much for something that we lose sight on what's around us on all the blessings that God has blessed us with and so that's where I am now I'm doing so much better emotionally um, in the last two videos you could see how emotional I was it was hard it was a really hard process and that's you know I wanted to share genuinely you know it's easy to share videos where we're joyful and um, but you know you've been able to see the process in these past three videos how it wasn't easy it was hard but I had to rely on the Lord and he in my weakness he gave me strength because in my own flesh I would have been just falling apart but relying on him through prayer through reading his word and encouraging myself in his word like I shared in the second video Philippians 4 reminding myself of that think on things that are praiseworthy things that are pure things that are lovely like think about these things and so that really blessed me and so I pray that 
you know me opening up about our miscarriage that it would bless someone and that um you would find encouragement in that and you know if you need to talk you could always email me the best way if you want to get in contact with me just email me and i try to get back to uh, my emails as as soon as i can so thank you so much for the continued support on the videos and the website and please just keep me and my husband um, in your prayers may we continue to just live life glorifying God and joyful and may these videos continue to encourage people because that's my goal so yeah thank you so much bye